a lot of arm lift in their swing and they want to have a little bit more connection. It's great for players that really want to feel a little bit more depth to their swing. Really important piece to hitting a, a small draw or attacking the ball from the inside. So. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you one of the drills that Patrick Reed has been using in his game and how it can potentially help your game. So let's get into it. So here we can see Patrick Reed performing a drill with a tour stick under his right arm. This is a fantastic drill for players that wanna feel a little bit more connection, potentially a little bit more arm depth, and certainly help them control path in the downswing too. So I'm gonna help you understand today what he's doing exactly and some of the benefits that this can give your game. So the first thing is understanding the drill and he has the tour stick under his right arm. So just a simple tour stick under his right armpit and the goal is to keep it there. Now this isn't as easy as it looks um, many of you are going to drop the tour stick in various different parts of the swing. So I've, I generally have done this drill in my own game when I've tried to tighten up my arms and I would drop the tour stick more into the follow through and I'm going to get on to a little bit more around that in a moment. But the drill is fantastic for players that feel like they have a lot of arm lift in their swing and they want to have a little bit more connection. It's great for players that really want to feel a little bit more depth to their swing. So again, depth is how far around you the club moves. And for me, that's a really important piece to hitting a, a small draw or attacking the ball from the inside. So that's a big piece that I look for when, uh, when teaching golfers to draw the golf ball as well. But for me, those two things are certainly what's going to help players in the backswing. So lots of arm lift and helping find some connection and depth in the backswing. Now, when your lead arm, so your left arm, if for a right-handed player, starts to touch the stick, that would be a really good indication for you to stop for those players that have excessive arm lift and the, and the club works too far in the backswing. So I'm just gonna show you that now. So here I have it under my right armpit. And as I work in the backswing, to be able to keep this stick in, a few things have to happen. I have to obviously keep my right arm a little bit more tucked down. I have to keep my right arm a little bit more back and behind me to keep that pressure under the right armpit. And again, as I was just mentioning there for length of swing, if your left arm, or when your left arm starts to touch the stick, that would when it would be time to stop. Now, momentum will still take you forward or backwards, should I say, sorry. So as I touch that stick, I can still turn my hips and make a very complete backswing from there. So a really good one for some backswing structure. Now, where I've used this drill is actually in the follow through. So for me, I would, if you've watched my videos, you will know by now that in my downswing, I start to suck the club behind me and I would throw my arms high and to the right and lose a lot of control of the face. So this is a great drill for me because I have to hit some shots where I just never drop the stick. So into the backswing, I make a good turn and then try and work my body round and keep hold of that stick. So from this angle, keeping hold of that stick. And for me, it feels like my arms are extending long. I can still feel some pressure under that armpit. As I rotate, it feels like my chest is rotating quite a lot through the swing, uh, which leads me back into the, um, into the back swing because as I start to move the club back, I feel like to not drop this stick, a couple of things have to happen. I have to flex my right arm a little bit better as it goes in, but I do feel like I can't get away with just using my arms because if I went back and did that, I would, uh, I would drop the stick. So for me, having to move my chest a little bit more into the takeaway is quite a nice feeling. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a few for you now and see how difficult this really is. Um, for me, I would fully assume the downswing is gonna be my challenge. Um, probably not gonna make the green. I think we'll uh, end up in that water in a moment for some of the smaller shots. But again, just rehearsing, feeling what it feels like to keep my arms 
connected. It's time to stop when they get there and then pass through. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna start with some small ones. So already you can see how I struggle to keep that in, in the downswing, but it felt super connected for me. And I really did feel like I worked a lot more around me, which for me is great to match in that arc. So let's give it another go. Okay, so really nice again there. Now I know I dropped the stick, but that just felt so solid off the face. And I would build this into speed, okay? So just starting with some small ones there, but now I've got that feeling, I can really just stand there and try and hit a few normal ones with exactly the same sensation. Now I know that one started a little bit left, but I really did feel on that shot that I worked my chest so much harder through the ball. It felt compressed. It felt like that right shoulder was all on top of it. So for me, that is a top drill. So I hope you found that insightful into some of the reasons why I think that's a great drill. Now, I'm not Patrick Reed's coach, so I'm not sure exactly which one of those he would be trying to do it for. I would assume some connection into his follow through. Um, I think I vaguely remember something of when he won the Masters, he was struggling to hit a cut shot. And, um, and some of you may remember that's where this crazier finish from him came from. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes a lot of sense. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all soon.